Team Tiger, Tiger TV wants you to check out what's in the bag. I understand you guys are investigating the Coalition for a Better Wallingford project. What's in the bag? Freddie, can you tell us about this bag and the project? Well, earlier today, Tiffany and I visited the Coalition for a Better Wallingford, and we found out that they're doing a six-week program involving various activities at different locations. Their mission is taking care of yourself, uh, f your family, and your community. Team Tiger TV will actually be attending the Coalition event that's happening on August 13th during the last week of the program at Quinnipiac Lanyard Trail. The event is a six week long event. It started a couple weeks ago. It's going to be uh, very exciting. We're going to see a lot of nature and walk around and get to different Wallingford uh, places sponsoring uh, each week. So they are going to learn and teach tell us about the first week. The main topic is meet a hero from Wallingford Police Department. Discover the superhero the superhero power with is with fun family activities. Color a mask, decorate stars, crafts, puzzles and more. To be a hero and let someone else know that they are a hero. Um pamphlet for this week was um opioid prescription to hold hidden threats. You should choose to use your voice for the parents while the kids get this pamphlet of fun activities they can do, stuff like that. They also got some tattoos that they got to take home with them. They focused on, uh, or their theme was uh, Wallingford Celebrates Beyond the Beaten Path, and it was focused on the public library. And it comes with a little pamphlet that describes the contents of the bag and one pamphlet of the history of the library and more. And the thing that really stood out to me in the bag was uh, another pamphlet that talking about opioids and how, how the parents could deal with their sons and daughters if they've been taking uh, overdosage and how they can deal with that. So... So the main focus is talking to kids about opioids and how to be careful, stay away from it, and best way to get treatment for it. Yeah. Week three, uh, they had a music, uh, music emphasis and uh, how uh, it draws uh, people together. Uh, music has a couple of pamphlets about uh, uh, the opioid crisis uh, that we're having uh, in today's world and that uh, another one about uh, teams of uh, vaping. So uh, week four, uh, uh, Wallingford celebrates uh, SCAL, SCAL, the uh, Spanish community of Wallingford, diversity bringing the community together. And here are just a quick couple of words to learn. Uh, there's a Colombian dish in here uh, from Encanto. Uh, it's, a, it's a great recipe uh, and uh, Encanto is truly the perfect uh, emphasis for this because it shows how in the movie it shows bringing the community together at the end of the movie the, uh, the community comes together and it shows this strong family being together and um, true role models. Uh, another thing is that uh, we have for drugs uh, it says it's your chance to move forward to recover find more information and support your drug use so for week four, it's just mainly about drugs and staying clean and how to get help. also includes a pamphlet about what you may need to know about marijuana. And overall, this instigates reflection about one's well-being within your community. The bag uh, is talking about strong families, strong communities. Team Tiger, Tiger TV wants you to check out what's in the bag. On Saturday, August 13th, Teen Tiger TV attended the finale of a six-week program called What's in the Bag. The program founded by the Coalition for a Better Wallingford brings education to families on drug safety and to build a connection with the community. The event took place at the Quinnipiac Linear Trail in Wallingford, Connecticut and featured a presentation by Curious Creatures, a nature walk, and many more activities. 
Hi, I'm Freddy Lopez. I'm here from Team Tiger TV and I'm here at the Quinnipiac uh, Trail for the What's in the Bag program. What's your, your name and why are you here? Uh, my name is Pat. I'm here with Curious Creatures. We were invited down to, uh, today for the event. Uh, brought a collection of uh, some of our pets to share with the kids, have a little fun, teach them a little bit. What's your goal in bringing these creatures to children? Um, bring a little uh, education their way about animals, a little bit of fun. Um, a lot of what we do is hands-on, so we get the kids engaged in the animals, but also uh, teach them a little bit about animal behavior and that not every moving creature is automatically scary. Some of them are friendly and sweet. And if you raise them with kindness, um, they can really form a bond with you as opposed to the animals in the wild that just uh, we just assume they're always so afraid of us. Would any of these animals be found on this trail? Nothing here is native to Connecticut. A lot of our animals here are from Africa, South America, Indonesia, Middle Eastern. We've got one North American friend in there. This guy's from the Andes Mountains. But uh, yeah, nothing from Connecticut. Probably the closest thing would be the tortoise in that we have some turtles around the area. You might find some turtles out there. The Quinnipiac Linear Trail is 2.5 miles of nature filled with birds, insects, and animals, both land and aquatic, that can relieve life's anxieties and stresses. Being in nature can lower your heart rate and blood pressure by 6%. It can also have a large effect on your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. These are the nerves that can help your body activate its fight or flight response and the nerves that can help your body calm down once it feels safe. So go for a stroll in the woods, take a deep breath and liberate your mind. Hey everyone, we finally made it down here to the bridge. My name is Jen Short, founder of the Taylor Short Foundation. And this event is all about wishes can come true. So the saying goes, find a penny, pick it up for all the day, you will have good luck. Take this penny from me to you and carry it with you down the path. When you come upon the stream, toss the penny in to fulfill that special dream. Wishing you all a lifetime of happiness. With love, Taylor and the Jen Short Foundation. Hi, I'm Freddie from Teen Tiger TV, and I'm here at the Quinnipiac Linear Trail, here with uh, Christina and Jennifer uh, from the Coalition of uh, for a Better Wallingford, and Christina and Jen. Uh, was this year's What's in a Bag program even more successful than the last? Absolutely, absolutely. Without a doubt. We extended um, the scope by providing bags to more children within the, within the community, um, and we had so much participation from different community organizations. Yep. And we wouldn't have had this final summer finale. So this is truly a success for us. How has the program grown this year and what ways might it continue to change? It's grown by just everyone in this community embracing what we do and why we do. And more and more families are getting involved and understanding what the coalition is here for and how we want to share the knowledge around substance awareness and really create a healthy, caring, responsible citizen. So it's grown because of everyone out there in our community, really. Uh, what's the most memorable moment uh, from this year's What's in a Bag program? I would have to say it's today's event. Today's event was so amazing. I bet from the footage that you filmed, you could see how many people from the community participated. Um, I'm just going to add one thing. There was a five-year-old brave girl who wrapped a snake around her neck, which just amazed me. But um, Mr. Creatures was a lot of fun, um, and we had our nature walk and we had a Make-A-Wish um, sponsored by the Taylor Foundation, rock painting, and um, a scavenger hunt along with the last ice cream from Mr. Fred. Yes, yes. And also, Vinny's Deli donated a large box of chocolate chip cookies, which were amazing. Which week of the program do you think had the largest community impact and how can you build on that momentum for next year? Yeah, week six, without a doubt. Week six was all about nature, bringing our families together, gratitude, and um, that's what brought everyone down here to attend the, the summer finale. So week six was definitely our, our height of the entire program. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this has been Teen Tiger TV. 
We want to give a big shout out to Wayne at the Trail of Terror, the Taylor Short Foundation, the Wallingford Public Library, SCOW, the Health Department, Youth and Social Services, of course, our own volunteers and the Coalition for a Better Wallingford, the Tiger Team, the Rotary Club. Did I miss anyone? The Wallingford Community Women. Yes. And the Mayor's Council for Substance Abuse Prevention. This would not be happening if it wasn't for all of them. How would uh, someone get in touch for Curious Creatures? Uh, you can find us on Facebook. Um, there's also CuriousCreatures.org. Um, and if you're calling from Connecticut or the Connecticut area, it's 203-488-1417.